Hello, welcome to another um, build. Um, so I am building a small-ish, yeah, I would say small, a small steampunk type Victorian medieval, I don't even know what you want to call it. I was aiming towards steampunk, like traditional steampunk styled house. Um, I got the inspiration from this uh, picture I saw on Pinterest. I was just looking at steampunk stuff because I'm obsessed. And um, so I kind of, I don't know, I got a lot of inspiration from the picture for the front of the house and then for all the other per parts of the house. It just kind of, I don't know, I, it just kind of happened. I just, I did what made sense to me. Um, obviously, you can't make a super steampunk house in The Sims 4. They don't have a lot of items that would fit very well with it. I mean, they have a lot of, like, industrial type stuff, but they don't have, like, pipes or steam making things and, like, flying stuff. Because, <laughs> like, I think it'd be really cool to make, like, a flying steampunk house, but can't do that, really. Um, I feel like you could do it in The Sims 3 just because they have that whole ladder thing. Um, I think the ladder would be nice to have in The Sims 4 because then, you know, your Sims have a way of getting up instead of just using stairs, which is kind of weird and annoying and doesn't really make too much sense in The Sims 4. So, uh, so I'm just kind of working on the roof. I wasn't sure what would look good, but I eventually, I think I keep this look, and I kind of like the randomness of the roof, I think, I don't know, I think it looks pretty cool, and I forgot you could make the, um, the roof pieces curved, which was really nice, and I was trying to put that little corner thing in there, but I, I don't know, I couldn't figure out how to make it work, so I just put it on the, um, bottom part, kind of like holding up the house, um, the, well, not the house, the top floor of the house, uh, which looked really cool. I'm really glad we have these little, I don't know what to call them, I'm sure there's a name for them, but I really like them, and they really helped with this build, and um, it was also in the, uh, the picture that I saw, those little things, so I was really happy when I saw them, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I can use this for my build. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm doing. And I don't know why, but steampunk houses are always a lot bigger on the top floors. Um, so I tried to I tried to do that in this build as well, and um, trying to find some. Um, pillars to put in places. I thought uh, those looked like pipes, so kind of worked my way around not having the pipes. Um, kind of wish they like curved. I wish I had curved pipes to put on the corners and stuff. Uh, I was trying to figure out how to use that or where to use that thing. Didn't end up using it. Um, so now I'm just going to put windows in. I, uh, in the picture, which I think I'll add in the video, um, maybe, maybe not, I don't know, but, uh, it had, like, green, um, roof, like, places, in places, sorry, um, and I, I'm so glad I found this color because it's actually the exact color in the picture and um, I think it just suits the whole like old um, steampunkiness of the build. Um, it kind of makes me think of 
um, uh, I can't remember, <laughs> I can't remember what it's called, but, like, the green, like, metal stuff. I probably sound really stupid. <laughs> I, I tend to blank out on words a lot. It's, it's probably not good. I also say things backwards when I'm talking, like, in a sentence, like, for example, I put bread in my peanut butter instead of I put peanut butter in my bread. Well, I guess that doesn't make sense either. I put peanut butter on my bread. Um, <laughs> I, I do that all the time. It's, it's funny and also frustrating sometimes because I say it at work and people are just like, what? <laughs> I don't understand. Um, and yeah, so I was adding in windows. I really, really like those tiny jail windows <laughs> for this build. Because you don't have a lot of tiny windows um, right now in The Sims 4, and um, I think those worked pretty well. And I was kind of disappointed with that wallpaper. I was trying to figure out why it wouldn't make the edges on all of the edges. Like, is there a reason for that? I'm, I'm not sure. Um, does it have to do with, like, the rooms, or... I don't know. I'll have to test it out, but I couldn't figure out how to make it... Um, make the like stony edges on all of the edges because that's I thought it would look really nice in this build but it only ended up on one of the edges in the front um, and I kind of just threw in that like old looking mailbox there's not really any other mailbox that would work um, and that little sim there um, I just called her test sim She's just an alien that I think I'm going to be using for when I build because sometimes I put objects in places and I need to test out if they actually work. That happens pretty often. Uh, so yeah, I'll just be bringing her along to all the builds and she can just test everything out. <clears throat> um, sorry. <laughs> I'm, I think I'm getting sick. That's not fun. Um, so just kind of finishing up the top part and I thought, oh look, wood. But then also I could use those industrial carpet things, which should totally be a floor, like a floor tile. Why why aren't they? Because, I don't know. It just doesn't make sense to me that they're just a rug, you know? Um, I really, I really like that pattern. I think it's cool. And it fit really well um, with that, like, top wraparound balcony thing, because, I don't know, I kind of imagine it to be all metal, um, just kind of hanging off of the house, um, not really, like, an actual patio, just kind of, like, a way of getting around up there. Uh, put a random light there, and I thought that would be really cool for some detail. I don't really know exactly what it is in this case, but I don't know. I thought it looked cool. thought it matched, and I kind of like making the some objects bigger. I've been really into that lately, just trying to uh, make objects into other objects or uh, combine objects to make interesting looking things. I thought maybe I could use that shelf somewhere for some extra detail, like on, around the edge or something, but I don't know what happened to that idea. I, I get distracted pretty easily. Um, and that like blue tank thing, I thought it'd be really cool if it was a different color, because um, then you can kind of like make it look like a fuel source or, I don't know, something something interesting in, in a steampunk build. Um, and I kind of use that little uh, thingy on the top to complete the pipe look on the edge. I thought that looked really cool. Um, and then I thought maybe I could put the roof over the like balcony, not balcony, I don't know what to call it, but uh, that top part up there, but I, um, I didn't think it looked good. I, I kind of like, I just like the roof the way it is, and I, um, I think if I added more, it would just, it would just look too top-heavy, you know? 
So yeah, I just kept it like that. And I really like that big circle window on the top floor. It just like works so well with that um, that little roof tile there that's kind of like thin. Uh, and then I kind of thought about how old houses used to be, like their floor plan was weird and I feel like stairs were always really close to the front door so I kind of um, added that into this house. I made the stairs go pretty much right up next to the to the front door and also I did that because I had no idea where else to put the stairs and it just seemed like a good spot. Um, and then there I am just trying to figure out where to put the next flight of stairs because I completely forgot I had another floor. Um, so I ended up just putting it there and um, also putting storage behind the stairs. I thought that was clever because there's not a lot of space in this house. It's, yeah, there's not a lot of space for storage. I mean, of course, I um, you'll see later that I use one of the bedrooms as store like a storage room. Um, that's just because I thought four bedrooms might be too much, so I make one of them a storage room, and then another one the living room because there's no space for a living room downstairs. So in reality, it's two bedrooms. But if you if you or someone downloads this place, um, they can use it as, um, they can use all four bedrooms as bedrooms, or make one of them an office, or, um, you know, whatever, whatever floats your goat, or whatever people say, um, and so I'm just adding in lights, I really like that light in the dining room slash kitchen, well, it's not that yet, but it will be soon, um, I don't know, it looks really cool, and I thought it was very like steampunky or I don't know kind of looks like it belongs on a ship like like a really large ship I don't know like a pirate ship um, so just adding in floors I was trying to look for an old looking floor and then I I don't know why but I decided to use the brick in there and I just thought that looked really cool um, of course, I don't think, I don't think any bathrooms really have, like, brick like that as their floor. I don't know, I've never seen one, but, um, that's just what I ended up doing. And I like matching all of my bathrooms for some reason. I just, I always end up using the same wallpaper, or the same, like, colors, um, same floor, uh, yeah. <laughs> And just trying to figure out what um, wallpapers to use. I end up with all the like old looking ones. I really like that striped one downstairs, the brownish one. I thought that looked very Victorian. Um, and then I thought I was trying to figure out like how a bathroom would look like. Um, I didn't, for some reason, I didn't end up or I didn't look up how a Victorian bathroom would look like, which I should have done, um, just, you know, so I know what to do, but I, I just went with normal bathroom, except there wasn't any room for a sink. I don't think there's room for a sink in any of the bathrooms, so most of the bathrooms just have, or I mean, all the bathrooms have sinks outside and I thought they could just wash their hands in the kitchen because there's just a single sink there I'm sure I'm sure they wouldn't mind you know um, so yeah just working on the dining table I really like those black chairs I kind of went with like a wood and like really dark black wood for most of the furniture. Um, that's I just like going with themes like that. Uh, it helps me kind of match everything together and I don't know what I'm doing there. 
um, okay, and then I guess I left and uh, came back. So this is, um, now I'm just uh, decorating. I wasn't sure if those countertops were very good. I, I liked those black ones, but then I thought it was too dark in the kitchen, and usually kitchens aren't supposed to be that dark. Um, and I kind of made it less dark by um, putting the gray, like, cement wall um, behind all of the dark uh, cabinets and stuff, just to brighten it up, and then I moved the brick wall over there, just because I wanted a, another brick wall in there. I think I have a brick wall in, on every floor somewhere, just, just to kind of keep keep the brick uh, just throughout the entire build. Um, I just like doing that, just kind of using the same textures throughout the house to kind of tie it all in together. And um, yeah, so I think soon I'm going to try to figure out how to put a sink in there. And I just end up giving up and putting the sink outside in the hallway. Yeah, probably not the best thing, but it works. I think it works. <laughs> uh, I totally could have moved that wall over and put the sink in there. I don't know what I was thinking. That would have been smart. Um, maybe I'll change that. Um, so, yeah, that's where I end up putting the sink. It's right next to the bathroom, so it's not like a big deal. Um, my sister just got an apartment and their bathroom has like a billion doors. There's So there's a door to her bedroom that goes into the bathroom and then there's a door to the shower and bathtub and then there's a door to another like toilet area. So there's two bathrooms but one shower and they're all connected and kind of like a u-shape <laughs> it's really weird so i mean i i think having the sink outside of the bathroom isn't that crazy <laughs> compared to that crazy bathroom that my sister has um so um i decided to change that into the living room which is so tiny, but I mean, I don't know. <laughs> like, I feel like if you're in a steampunk world, you don't really need that big of a living room. I don't know. I feel like you would do more adventuring or, um, I don't know, make steam stuff. Um, so that's pretty much the entire living room. I think, um, yeah, that's it. I wanted to add a bookshelf in there, but I just couldn't really find the space for it. Um, yeah, so just adding some random stuff in there. I, I like the idea of using the space under the stairs as storage. Um, I don't think I end up doing that in the bottom floor, but it just makes sense to do it on that second floor there. Oh! Do I have a sink in that bathroom? No, I don't think I do. I totally could have fit one in there. I just was being lazy. Uh, so there's the storage room. I decided that the top floor would be like the master bedroom area, so that's their storage or just the house's storage. I don't know. And they have their own bathroom. I guess the second floor has their own bathroom too. Um, and the mother load sheet wasn't working and I figured out that it was because I went into build mode instead of like the live mode. Like, I went straight into build mode without the character, without the sim. Um, so I ended up just going back and clicking the um, the play button and then that that fixed it and then I yeah the only bad part about having a sim while you're building is that you have to give them enough money to build 
Um, I don't know if there's a cheat to like not have to do that. I'm I'm not too familiar with all of the new, well not new cheats, but well I guess yeah they they did change how you type a lot of the um, the cheats, but yeah I'm not too familiar with them. I only know like mother load, uh, um, the move objects one, and then the the unlock one where you can unlock all the career items. Um, and I think you just saw me trying to put the, um, oh, do I end up putting a bookshelf in there? Oh, well, that worked out perfectly. I thought I didn't. <laughs> um, so I think the build is done. I'm just taking some screenshots and, oh, wait, some landscaping. Can't forget landscaping. That's one of the most important parts of the outside. Because it just looks so bland when you don't have anything out there. Which, I guess would kind of make sense if it was, like, a uh, flying house. Like a, a flying steampunk house. Then you wouldn't really need anything down there. It would just kind of, you'd crush it if you landed on it. But this one is not a flying house, so I decided to put some landscaping. Um, can't remember what I was talking about before whatever. <laughs> uh, so now I'm just fooling around with items. I kind of wanted to see if we had a like an old looking toy car because I thought I saw one but it might have been in The Sims 3. Uh, so yeah I gave up on that because that would have been really cool. And that's it. Thanks for watching.